Hi, this is Minister Paul. It's uh, Saturday, October 19, 2013. I just want to put a message out to everybody that I love you. I'm praying for you. Um, Jesus Christ is coming soon. It's promised in his word. We see all the signs lining up. Um, to be in constant prayer. You know, to just give it, you know, it, it's like when you're in a race. You know, you get tired halfway through it, and then as you as you press in on that three-quarter mark, you get like a second wind, and when you see the finish line, you have one lap to go, you give it your all. You want to finish strong, and I just, I see a finish line. There's a lot of things happening in my life that, that really bear witness that the end of all things is at hand, uh, and, and I'm sure that you see it too all around the world, but me, especially in my personal life, God gave me a gift. And uh, he's shown me some things, and, and I know it, it's literally at the door, and I want to do my best for him. So I'm just letting everybody know I'm going to remove the other video. It doesn't need to be said. God sees everything. I'm going to be taking a break, um, and it's not because of anything on YouTube. I love everybody on here, even my enemies. At time, I sit here, and I will pray for a half hour for my enemies. But I love my brothers and sisters in the Lord. I would beseech you to stop discord and come together in true agape love. God's love. Treat each other with love and kindness and, and friendliness and smiles and words of encouragement. Not not discord and, and just being mean to each other. That 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 you know, you gotta imagine Christ he's getting ready to come down. A trumpet's gonna blow. And he's going to show. And you don't want the last thing to you that you said to be something mean to somebody. I'm not saying that will keep you from heaven. I'm just saying that, you know, when you stand before Christ and, 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 he, says, and he welcomes you into heaven, do you want that to be the last thing you said to some video about somebody or something bad about one of your brothers and sisters in the Lord? You know, there's two things that I strongly have learned in my 35 years of truly serving the Lord with all my heart. 35 years, 15 to 49. These two things have stayed with me. They are things that I learned. I believe what we're to le learn and live and grow through God's word and the guidance of the Holy Spirit that we're baptized in. Number one is to guard your tongue. You have power and control over your tongue, what comes out of it. What comes out of it can hurt people or it can encourage people. That's why it says in number two, that just lines up with number two, it says out of your mouth comes blessings and curses. That's why you'll always see me on Facebook posting positive encouragement, speaking life and peace and joy over people. When I come on here, I... I, I get excited for the Lord and, and his spirit comes upon me and I speak blessings. You, you don't see me come on here and speak curses over people at anywhere. Show me where I do. It doesn't happen because I learned those things at a young age to control my tongue. I, I beseech you in these last days to control your tongue. I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube for health reasons. And I'm believing for a miracle. Would you believe along with me? But more importantly, I'm just one person in a field of millions. Would you be nice to one another and love one another, please? And, and let bygones be bygones and walk in true forgiveness? I will. I make that promise to walk in forgiveness, to love everybody, because I know Jesus is coming, but also because it's the right thing to do. This world is so full of hatred. Now, how can we be light? and salt when we're full of unforgiveness and bitterness and talking about each other it's the love that covers a multitude of sins it's time to start loving like we're supposed to saints it's time it's time it's time again i will be off here uh, for health reasons if the Lord leads me to, he will strengthen me and give me a message as always, and I will obediently put it out. If not, um, I'll be in prayer. Shalom.